morning friends welcome to the farm on this fresh monday morning it is nice and cold i um i had a we had a bit of a traumatic event happen to us last week we were woken up early in the morning the dogs fighting and not quite knowing what's going on it sounded like the dogs fighting and then when i went outside it wasn't the dogs that were chasing the cat um, the neighbor's dog doesn't like cats. My dog's always got on with a cat, no problem. But, uh, yeah, they just, you know, they, when they get together, they go like a pack, eh? So they chase our little cat that we've had for the last 14 odd years, I think, 13, 14 years. And um, she slept with us in the bed, so, she, you know, she's our little baby. And anyway, by the time we got to her, and Chamber um, Warren, mate of mine, and she got injured in the process, pulling the dogs off. Um, yeah, little Tabby was lying motionless on the ground, and um, so I picked her up, uh, carried her back into the house, and I could feel a little broken body wasn't going to make it. And it was uh, all I did could do was just hold her tight and keep her close. And uh, yeah, Diesel's obviously not happy with me talking. <laughs> they're burning cane, so he doesn't like when they burn cane. But this little this little body was. It was finished, eh? so I held it tight for a while and just let it breathe out. It lost breaths. It was about three or four minutes, and uh, it was, yeah, strangely enough, quite traumatic. Yeah? I, uh, yeah, I think because you, you get so close to the, these animals, they they're part of the family. That's your that's your fur family, you know. So, yeah, at the, at the same time, I, I didn't want to react too much to it, I didn't think about it too much, I had work to do, I moved on, left it, but but it, it brought some other thoughts back, and then, yeah, thoughts of how quickly, you know, because over the years, you sort of, you sort of get used to uh, um, life being boring, and, uh, and it's not, not entirely boring, but the drama's gone, and then trying to stay away from the drama, you know, um, is, is an art and obviously um, it doesn't always avoid you it doesn't matter how rich you are or how much money you got or whatever there's always drama that comes around and uh, one thing I learned early in the cops is you want to change your life very quickly pull that trigger you pull the trigger everything changes overnight it's like just like that so um, I learned valuable lessons back then about restraint um, about uh, Patience, timing, um, and uh, I feel that if I'd stayed in the police, I'd probably still, I'd probably be dead now, or I'd be in jail, like some of my mates are. <laughs> but uh, yeah, the, the trauma can come back very quickly, yeah. and uh, you know, so and the, the, this whole cat debacle sort of brought that to light. So I'm just want to say that you yeah, be happy with the boringness in your life. Just it's nice when things are quiet and boring. And enjoy it. And look back every now and then, just reflect on it, and think, "Hey, I'm happy that my life's boring. Um, it's not boring, really. It's just without trauma, without drama. Um, that's what you've got to be happy for, because that drama comes back very quickly. It can come, it can change in an instant, and then you've got all that drama back in your life again. So, yeah, you know, appreciate what you got, folks, on this Monday morning. This beautiful Monday morning. Check the. I can't really show you the sun. But wow, it's a, it's a stunning day. Enjoy it. Enjoy every moment. Chat to you soon.